Good morning. If we've learned the way of the Gentiles, what should we do about it? Today we're at Jeremiah chapter 10, verses 1 to 5. Listen to this. Hear the word of which the Lord speaks to you, O house of Israel, thus says the Lord. Do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the Gentiles are dismayed at them. For the customs of the peoples are futile. For one cuts a tree from the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They decorate it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers so that it will not topple. They are upright like a palm tree, and they cannot speak. They must be carried because they cannot go by themselves. Do not be afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, nor can they do any good. Some people have said this passage is about Christmas trees. Well, that's an, it's, it's an interesting question uh, on its own. We could look at that question, but that's not what this passage is about. This passage is about the ways of the Gentiles, not copying the things that come to us from the world. It's talking about, really, all these ways amount to idolatry. And so what did you and I do when we were growing up? Well, almost certainly virtually every one of us, while we were growing up, what were we doing? We were learning the ways of the Gentiles. We were, be we were being taught the ways of the Gentiles. We were Gentiles, and we just adopted the, the things that came over the wire. God has something better for us here. We don't need to do that. Look at this. Do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. They wonder because they don't have a solid revelation. The Bible is God's revealed truth. This is giving us accurate record of history of, of the miracles that were actually done, the actual uh, ac accurate record of the actual lives of the people that the Bible describes. This is, is giving us the facts. And so we have something definite here. We don't need to speculate. See, science and astrology work out about the same, really. Um, astrology is, is a myth about how things, the universe supposedly works. And science is a myth, a godless myth. I mean, there's, there's things that are certainly true facts. But there's a lot of things that are just, they, they try to go too far. And so they try to figure out how the world functions without God. And we know that that's wrong. We know that God is the source of all things. So we shouldn't learn the way of the Gentiles. Uh, we shouldn't be dismayed at those things like the Gentiles are. God has given us something better, something definite. We have, we have a word. We have something that is proven, a, a revelation. And prophecy confirms the word. So we know we can trust the Bible. It also says here that the customs of the people are futile. That's certainly true, isn't it? Why would we continue in those customs when God has shown us something better? And so Jesus wants you to be able to trust in him. He's given you an accurate record, even dealing with the creation issue. The earth was made in six literal days, and God rested on the seventh. Did he sort of miss that that would be an issue in our day? No, he, he knew that Darwin and all that uh, stuff was coming along. He knew that. That's not a surprise to him. But he wants us to trust the word ahead of of the futility of the Gentiles. So let's be in the Word, let's study it for ourselves, let's have some trust in it because Jesus wants us to. It's a tremendous gift. I mean, people search the world all over looking for truth. You've got it. You have what people want. At least they say they want it. If they are willing to come close to Jesus, we'll find out if they want it. Let's pray together. Dear Father in Heaven, thank you for your Word. Thank you for your truth. We don't need to learn the way of the Gentiles. Uh, we know that all these different ideas in the end sort of turn into kind of an idolatry, uh, ideas that sort of give us an option to do everything our own way. Lord, we want to do it your way. Help us to be your servants. Help us to be your faithful servants and warriors for the things you have for us to do, Lord. Help us to share your truth with others others who are dismayed and nervous about the things of this life, we don't have to have that, Lord. We can trust in you. Thank you for being a God who loves us, lets us in on what's coming down the road through Bible prophecy and through your word. And Lord, we give thanks to you in Jesus' name. Amen. God's ready. He's given you his word. You are equipped. Great stuff the Lord has for us here. Let's not be dismayed like the Gentiles. God be with you today.